Hi, so here's how the painter's game is going. Um, this is Drevis's painting that he did last that you probably saw his video about this. Um, I like this. It, it was much darker than my original painting, so it created more of a mood, uh, which was really fun. Um, I enjoyed that. I went in a different direction, but um, I really like this kind of started reminding me with that that rock that he put in in the center the vertical one um, I, don't know, I just started feeling very Elysian fields kind of uh, feel to me and um, I thought I wanted to go through those trees through that gap out to a broader landscape one that's not so enclosed around this pond and everything so my painting is this. So I went through the uh, hedge or the trees there and went out to this landscape uh, with clouds and a little hillside and a field in front of it. So um, let's see. So you can see this is Travis's. And I just went through there and created another landscape. But you can still see on the edges, you can see those trees that you're looking through, especially on the right, that reddish, reddish color. So I kind of wanted to get away from the heavy, um, get out where there's space and air and there's a little moon up in the sky. That's the one sort of note that I felt was a little reference to something um, sort of story-like that's, you know, like Elysian Fields. And to me, Drevis's painting feels very much like, uh, uh, I don't even know who the painter is. I can't remember his name. Uh, but, you know, a lot of paintings about Greek myths and uh, other things and this felt like a uh, mythological landscape to me uh, with that vertical and the little gap into the distance and the, the reflection so um, so that moon brings that back in just a little bit to me but otherwise it's a pretty uh, straightforward landscape kind of thing it was fun working with the colors uh, with those yellows in the field in front, with the greens of the hill behind, and figuring out a way to keep this tree border in there, uh, referencing back to his work as well. So that's, uh, that's my next step in the painter's game, and I'm very excited to see what Drevis will do next, because he's going to go to a different size now again. We had the 12 by 12 to begin with, and then we went to this one by two um so you got that one by two i'm just going and getting the painting so you got this was the beginning 12 by 12. and drevis took it to the one by two and then i did a one by two and drevis's next painting is going to be two foot by two foot and it's going to be on linen so these have all been on board so um, board or panel on board <laughs> um, so uh, it'll be very interesting to see what he does next and then I will do the final piece that's two by two and on linen as well